In astronomy, a celestial coordinate system is a system for specifying positions of celestial objects, satellites, planets, stars, galaxies, and so on. Coordinate systems can specify a position in three-dimensional space, or merely the direction of the object on the celestial sphere, if its distance is not known or not important. The coordinate systems are implemented in either spherical coordinates or rectangular coordinates. Spherical coordinates, projected on the celestial sphere, are analogous to the geographic coordinate system used on the surface of the Earth. These differ in their choice of fundamental plane, which divides the celestial sphere into two equal hemispheres along a great circle. Rectangular coordinates, inappropriate units, are simply the Cartesian equivalent of the spherical coordinates, with the same fundamental plane and primary direction. Each coordinate system is named for its choice of fundamental plane. Coordinate systems the following table lists the common coordinate systems in use by the astronomical community. The fundamental plane divides the celestial sphere into two equal hemispheres and defines the baseline for the latitudinal coordinates, similar to the equator in the geographic coordinate system. The poles are located at plus or minus 90 degrees from the fundamental plane. The primary direction is the starting point of the longitudinal coordinates. The origin is the zero distance point, the center of the celestial sphere. Although the definition of celestial sphere is ambiguous about the definition of its center point, horizontal system the horizontal or altitude azimuth system is based on the position of the observer on Earth, which revolves around its own axis once per sidereal day in relation to the fixed star background. The positioning of a celestial object by the horizontal system varies with time, but is a useful coordinate system for locating and tracking objects for observers on Earth. It is based on the position of stars relative to an observer's ideal horizon. Equatorial system The equatorial coordinate system is centered at Earth's center, but fixed relative to distant stars and galaxies. The coordinates are based on the location of stars relative to Earth's equator if it were projected out to an infinite distance. The equatorial describes the sky as seen from the solar system, and modern star maps almost exclusively use equatorial coordinates. The equatorial system is the normal coordinate system for most professional and many amateur astronomers having an equatorial mount that follows the movement of the sky during the night. Celestial objects are found by adjusting the telescopes or other instrument scales so that they match the equatorial coordinates of the selected object to observe. Popular choices of pole and equator are the older B1950 and the modern J2000 systems, but a pole and equator of date can also be used meaning one appropriate to the date under consideration, such as when a measurement of the position of a planet or spacecraft is made. There are also subdivisions in two, mean of date, coordinates, which average out or ignore nutation, and true of date, which include nutation. Ecliptic system The fundamental plane is the plane of the Earth's orbit, called the ecliptic plane. There are two principal variants of the ecliptic coordinate system, geocentric ecliptic coordinates centered on the Earth and heliocentric ecliptic coordinates centered on the center of mass of the solar system. The geocentric ecliptic system was the principal coordinate system for ancient astronomy and is still useful for computing the apparent motions of the Sun, Moon, and planets. The heliocentric ecliptic system describes the planet's orbital movement around the Sun, and centers on the barycenter of the solar system. The system is primarily used for computing the positions of planets and other solar system bodies, as well as defining their orbital elements. Galactic system The galactic coordinate system uses the approximate plane of our galaxy as its fundamental plane. The solar system is still the center of the coordinate system, and the zero point is defined as the direction towards the galactic center. Galactic latitude resembles the elevation above the galactic plane and galactic longitude determines direction relative to the center of the galaxy. 
supergalactic system The supergalactic coordinate system corresponds to a fundamental plane that contains a higher than average number of local galaxies in the sky as seen from Earth. Converting coordinates Conversions between the various coordinate systems are given. See the notes before using these equations. Notation horizontal coordinates, azimuth, altitude, equatorial coordinates, right ascension, declination, hour angle, ecliptic coordinates, ecliptic longitude, ecliptic latitude, galactic coordinates, galactic longitude, galactic latitude, miscellaneous, observer's longitude, observer's latitude, obliquity of the ecliptic, local sidereal time, Greenwich sidereal time. Our angle right ascension or all equatorial ecliptic the classical equations derived from spherical trigonometry for the longitudinal coordinator presented to the right of a bracket simply dividing the first equation by the second gives the convenient tangent equation seen on the left the rotation matrix equivalent is given beneath each case Equatorial horizontal note that azimuth is measured from the south point, turning positive to the west. Zenith distance, the angular distance along the great circle from the zenith to a celestial object, is simply the complementary angle of the altitude, 90 degrees minus a. Equatorial galactic These equations are for converting equatorial coordinates refer to B19500. If the equatorial coordinates are referred to another equinox, they must be processed to their place at B19500 before applying these formulae. These equations convert to equatorial coordinates refer to B19500. Notes on conversion angles in the degrees, minutes, and seconds of sexagesimal measure must be converted to decimal before calculations are performed. Whether they are converted to decimal degrees or radians depends upon the particular calculating machine or program. Negative angles must be carefully handled. Minus 10 degrees 20 minutes 30 seconds must be converted as minus 10 degrees minus 20 minus 30. Angles in the hours, minutes, and seconds of time measure must be converted to decimal degrees or radians before calculations are performed. 1h equals 15 degrees 1 meter equals 15 1s equals 15 Angles greater than 360 degrees or less than 0 degrees may need to be reduced to the range 0 degrees to 360 degrees depending upon the particular calculating machine or program. Inverse trigonometric functions arc sine, arc cosine and arc tangent are quadrant ambiguous, and results should be carefully evaluated. Use of an equation which finds the tangent, followed by the second arc tangent function, is recommended when calculating longitude, right ascension, azimuth. An equation which finds the sine, followed by the arc sine function, is recommended when calculating latitude, declination, altitude. Azimuth is referred here to the south point of the horizon, the common astronomical reckoning. An object on the meridian to the south of the observer has A equals H equals 0 degrees with this usage. In navigation and some other disciplines, azimuth is figured from the north. The equations for altitude do not account for atmospheric refraction. The equations for horizontal coordinates do not account for diurnal parallax, that is, the small offset in the position of a celestial object caused by the position of the observer on the Earth's surface. This effect is significant for the Moon, less so for the planets, minute for stars or more distant objects. Observer's longitude here is measured positively westward from the prime meridian. This is contrary to current IAU standards.